We just saw how a cyclotron can create radioactive drugs, but then they have to be processed in these hot cells. Dave, how does the material from there, how do they end up here? Well, it goes underground in the pneumatic system, and it's driven below ground a couple meters, and it pops back up right in this hot cell. It's got two inches of lead shielding all around the hot cell, and it protects uh, the operators. So this is an operating hot cell. And from there, normally we don't open this up, but we haven't irradiated the coin. And I'm going to open this up and show you where our shuttle and coin end up in the, inside this hot zone. That is amazing. Guys, it's a lucky day. We were able to see the cyclotron opened up and now the hot cell opening up. And the coin there travels underground for about 30 feet or so in a matter of seconds and ends up here for further processing. So you can see here, this is where our shuttle pops up from the delivery of the target. And from here, we usually process it with and dissolve it in this material. Once it's dissolved, then we have gallium-68 gallium chloride. Then we incorporate it into an organic molecule, um, and it's chelated. And that's done on this synthesis unit here. So there's a preset sequence that's been validated, approved by Health Canada, that would go through and push all the materials and reagents, heat up where it's needed in a reactor, and uh, manufacture the radiopharmaceutical. This then gets pushed into our clean room where it's dispensed in a grade A dispensing hot cell. And from there, it's dispensed out to patients so that they could be injected for their scans in the PET MRI or the PET CT. So normally, Dave, I'm assuming that the doors will be up and you wouldn't be putting your hand in, but instead, I'm assuming you're gonna be operating these robotic arms instead? Exactly, exactly. Normally the door's up, it's protecting us from all the radioactivity. We do use the arms periodically in here and in our dispensing hot cell for dispensing the doses. In this case, we would use this manipulator arm or, or this one and we would grab the coin uh, here. And we would place it uh, in its position uh, here and we already have one in the spot. Oh, wow. And that would dissolve it. So Dave, so that is how radioisotopes are created, I understand. So from the cyclotron to here, it reached by, via pneumatic tubes. But I'm assuming the patient is waiting upstairs for the scan. How does this get from here to the patient? Right, once it's dispensed in our clean room, it's dispensed aseptically in a sterile vial. And then that vial is transferred to a lead container, okay. a lead pot, and it goes in an extra shipping container. And this lead protection allows you to ship the dose over the patient upstairs of the hospital and then from there they unpack it and they draw the doses for the patients. So the doses are they created on the same day of the scan or can you create it in a batch and then slowly use it over time? For the ones from the cyclotron typically it's the same day of the batch um, that you have to manufacture, you know, produce them, dispense them and release them and inject them into the patient. Most often than not, it's the same day. If you might get lucky with certain isotopes, and it might be the next day. Wow, so if the patient is here 8 a.m., you probably are here at 6 a.m. getting the whole thing ready for the patient. We start the night before at 10 p.m., yes, to wow. start staging, and the whole production staff that's here would start staging, getting all the materials ready for dispensing, getting all the lines, the transfer lines are very particular that we have to clean those before use. All that's done uh, ahead of time so that we can be ready for patients in the morning. That is amazing that you're here overnight, so it's literally your man cave. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the cyclotron and how radioisotopes are manufactured, and that's what lies in the vault underground Toronto General Hospital. But then, how does it reach the patient, and what happens next? Wait till the next video here.